Hi guys. Hey everybody. Stop your shaking. Uh, hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave. Um, and I wanted to talk, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about clip leads. Um, I am not great at electronics. Can we just be really clear about that? Like I understand that 12 volts goes through one wire, has to go through a light bulb and come back through the other wire. And I know that some LEDs need a resistor. I don't know how to mathematically figure out what resistor I can just go to the box and find them and try out some until it works. But that is like, that is my knowledge, my level of knowledge on electronics. I know enough to be dangerous. Um, but I've been doing it for a long time and I feel pretty comfortable with some basic wiring stuff. Um, and I wanted to, it, it occurred to me to talk about these things because when you are first, uh, when you are first like playing around with electronics and ideating like, you know, making your toys better, for instance, um, clip leads come into play. Uh, a clip lead is simply a pair of alligator clips, usually insulated uh, by a bulb like this on either end of a wire. Now, you go to Harbor Freight and you can buy a dozen of these for like a dollar. You go to Amazon and yeah, they're everywhere. Um, and there are a lot of ways to hold on to electronics I haven't really thought through how to tell this story, so it's going to come out a bit chock-a-block, and I apologize for that. Um, <clears throat> so here's how a clip lead would work. You would, um, you would like have a light bulb, have a battery source, and you didn't want to wire it up. So you take clip leads and you put one to the battery, one to the light bulb, the other to the other end of the light bulb and back to the battery. And when the light bulb lights, you know you've got a circuit. It's a great way to test build a circuit. Um, Finding good clip leads is hard and really hard because they all suck. Clip leads, they suck so hard. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> so here's something. Here's, here's the thing. First of all, uh, these clip leads are actually soldered, which is a cut above the rest. Uh, usually they're not, but they exhibit one of the classic problems of clip leads. If you look at it like this, you'll notice, see that? See that? Ooh, 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 ooh. That's what happens to clip leads. Is the other end better? No, not much. It looks like, yeah, okay. So what everyone ends up discovering with clip leads is <laughs> that you can... If you want to test a circuit, you really want to make sure that this grab on a piece of wire, I'm so sorry. If you want to use it, if you want to build a sample circuit, you really want to make sure that th this connects to your wire. And it, I've had circuits that didn't look like they worked. And it was because my clip leads were bullshit. Excuse me. Um, I have lots of clip leads and there are different grades. Um, I will tell you, Big fan. I'm a big fan of these kind of clip leads, specifically because they have in their end, oh, a little hook here. Let's get a better reverse angle. Look at this. Here we go. So here is the business end of that. Look at that. That reaches out, grabs a wire really, really securely. Now, what is at the other end of this guy? Well, they make these, I'm so sorry about the bouncing. What is the other end at, of, now, what is at the other end of this guy? Uh, it is a banana connector, which I love because it allows me to plug right into my multimeter. I really dig that. I don't love grabbing my probe leads with, probe leads, my, my, my multimeter leads with, uh, with, I, I don't want to do that. That I, No, I can do that and we've all done that, absolutely. I just prefer not to do that. Um, <clears throat> there are also these guys. Now, here's my issue. One of my other issues with these is that's hard to do. That's a lot of force required to get what you need out of that. I don't, that is like, already I'm feeling that here. No good, no good. I, I, 
just threw out two clip leads. I'm so thrifty, it's hard for me to look at a, like a wall full of clip leads and just start throwing them out. <clears throat> but when I pull them out and actually activate them, I realize why I haven't used them in years. Uh, now, I also recently found these guys, and these are spectacular clip leads. Look, they've got like a snapping turtle mouth. Oh yeah, here, let's get you a close up. All right, there you go. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Ar, 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 like a snapping turtle. Ar, I'm ready for your wire. Um, in every way, this is easy to use. It's really nice and positive to open and close. Like it works with your hands. So why do I suffer with these guys? Why don't I just throw them all out? It's because I'm thrifty. It's, it's really hard for me to throw something out that almost works. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've replaced, I, my regular rotation is like four or five sets of these. And I, I really dig them. They are, they are, they are fantastic. Um, I also, yeah. Leads for your various electronics are actually, oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, that one goes there. And that one goes there. And that one goes there. This flute meter, by the way. I bought this. Oh, this isn't the one. My very first flute meter, I bought in 1992 or three, probably 1993, at the Foothill College Ham Radio Electronic Swap Meet down at uh, off of Moody Road at Foothill College. It is no longer there. It is in a new location, and I think it's the like the second and fourth Saturday of the month from March through October or something like that absolutely seminally important Silicon Valley uh, swap meet. Um, if you get there after 6 a.m., you're just gonna miss all the good deals. And I got a lot of my early tools trolling the blankets at the Foothill swap meet. Um, and I remember buying a, uh, a fluke multimeter for 70 bucks, which was about half of what they cost. And it was a, it was a lot of dough for me in 1993. Um, but I get ahead of myself. I love the banana connectors on various ones and many banana connectors come with, uh, you know, so you can actually stack them, which is lovely. Um, when it comes to clip leads, I've got those three kinds, right? I've got the like, the, the, <clears throat> the fine wire grab kind. Doot, doot, doot. I've got the, uh, the nice big lever kind. This guy who I'm just love more than almost anything else, except again, for super fine gauge wire, these are not perfect. Uh, and then there's these four inchers, which are better than nothing, but just. This, here we go. Wanna make a million dollars? Nobody has significantly improved upon this form factor in decades. Come on, somebody out there can do this. Hold on, here we go. Oh yeah. See that? This needs, this is a space ripe for disruption. Don't get me wrong, nice big pin there, that's good. But yeah. Uh, if you have a clip lead that you love, I would love to know about it in the comments, please. Um, I am clearly unsatisfied with the various options I have at my disposal. I don't use them all the time by any stretch of the imagination, but the struggle is real. Uh, thank you guys for joining. I, this isn't even really a show and tell. It's more like a sort of extended complaint. Fascinating. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Cheers. I can't thank you enough for supporting us by watching the channel. If you've been to our merch store, you might want to head there again because we are always updating our roster with new products. Here is the anime-inspired Tested logo in Japanese, my, one of my all-time favorite new designs. Uh, we're also selling Tested mugs and Tested hats. Oh, and if you want a cup of tea, we're selling that too. Tested-store.com. Tested-store.com. <laughs>